Okay, so what you're looking at right here is the Vertex Phantom Featherlight Tactical Pant. Uh, the color that they're in is Smoke Gray, I believe, or Battle Gray. They come in Coyote, Black, Olive Drab, Coyote, uh, Khaki, your standard run-of-the-mill colors. Um, I'm sure somewhere they probably come in multicam and cryptic, all that. But what these are and why I like them is they're a tactical pant that doesn't look super tactical. Uh, the color, like I said, is a very, very dark gray. It's almost like a navy blue, but it's not. It's like a dark gray. Um, these pants have... I'll just say it right now. These are probably some of the best all-around outdoor adventure shooting tactical whatever pants out there for the money and in this video I'll kind of explain why well starting off uh, you might notice the pockets are uh, bulged out a little bit okay that's not how they come if you can see that there and there okay the reason why they're bowed out is because I have them filled with stuff it's the purpose of them in this one, I have a IFAC, like an individual first aid kit, kind of a boo-boo kit. Uh, and this is just a um, 777 $20 bandit um, mini kit pouch thing. Um, it just has some first aid equipment in it. Now, looking at this pocket real quick, it has no snaps, no Velcro, no buttons, nothing. All it is is a pocket that is sewn flat with a pant, and then the pocket goes inside. Okay, So when you don't have these full, uh, it doesn't look like they're cargo pants, but I assure you they are. Um, this flap design is a little bit slower, or it's harder to actuate, get things in and out of. On the flip side, you have no Velcro, no buttons, no snaps to contend with. Um, it's, you know, you pull up a little bit and then you put your hand in. Uh, you won't be able to see it on picture, or you won't be able to see it on camera. I might roll in some pictures. But on each side, it does have a kind of internal pocket that can hold a smartphone, an Android, iPhone, that type of thing. But they're very roomy. They're probably about your standard BDU tactical pant size probably about six by seven seven by seven maybe now on the other side and you might be saying you know like how can you call these tactical uh, pants you know they're not a super tactical color they don't, they're not multi-cam they don't have these big cargo pockets all that stuff the reason I think they are classified as tactical pants is a few features. Uh, first off, if we go to this pocket, um, from the front, you you know, you know, it's cheating a little bit on camera because you guys are looking for it specifically, but you might not even be able to tell I have anything in this pocket. Okay, uh, but you'd be dead wrong. Uh, what I have are uh, not one, but two. Magpul P Mags, and they fit in there just fine, and they're pretty quick to pull out and charge. If you just want to run one, they do fit in that pocket, and they stick out a little bit, or you can cover them up. Another great feature I like about them is uh. Kind of be hard to show, but on the back here, it's your standard pocket, but they have sewn in anti-pickpocket flaps. And what it is, is it's like about a one inch flap that kind of goes over the top of your wallet. So if somebody tries to take your wallet, your wallet does not come out that easy. And this is optional. It's in there, you don't have to use it. It folds off to the side, doesn't really snag up at all. Um, and as you can see, they're kind of just standard size pockets. I have wallet in there. Uh, same on this side. Next great feature I like 
is if you can see here, <clears throat> they have the pocket, but instead of running a constant curve, they have a flat here. And the reason that's cool is it is kind of an index point to stick your knife, so it's your knife's not as like floppy, stuff like that. Uh, and as you can see, you know, sometimes with certain knives we'll still <clears throat> angle a little bit, but it's whatever. It's just a nice feature they threw in. And uh, this right here is just a Benchmade uh, pocket knife, the one I carry every day. And then another great feature, which some people, maybe they own these pants, they didn't even know the pocket existed, um, is... You can see it, it might be hard to pick up on camera, but I, I can roll in pictures too. It has a secondary hidden pocket on the right side. And um, like I said, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but seriously, it looks like a seam right there. It's very hard to see. Uh, but you do have a little zipper pull, and uh, you have a secondary hidden pocket. And you can store, if you're traveling, you can store some larger bills in here and just keep credit cards in your wallet. You could uh, store a uh, gym key, a spare house or car key, a multitude of things um, that might not be the best thing for people to find. Maybe if they search your pockets or if you have to empty your pockets or whatever the case may be. Um, let's see, right now, um, I just have a set of lock picks, and I mean, these are simple ones that I made, uh, you know, out of windshield wiper blades, bobby pins, uh, metal coat hangers, and then I have them all stored in a, uh, straw, just a chunk of straw, drinking straw, and I just have you know some simple uh, that's kind of just a feeler and these are very basic simple uh, picks that's um, another one out of a coat hanger I ground the blade thin add a little uh, hook on there the next one is just a small uh, half feeler gauge out of a uh, bobby pin and this is a micro uh, tension tool for really small locks and then these are just two tension tools that I made out of uh, windshield wiper blades actually I might do a video on that uh, they work quite well sometimes you have to work you know grinding these so they fit in the lock but they're made out of a very uh, springy steel. You know, you can bear down quite a bit and they won't bend, but as many of you know, that's not secret to lock picking. And uh, that's all I'll say. And uh, you can try and figure out what I mean, and the people that know already know what I'm talking about. But. Uh, yeah, I just store all these in a drinking straw. They weigh nothing. They literally did not cost anything. And, you know, they're just good to have. Other things you could keep is a uh, handcuff key. They make, like, plastic ones. Maybe a ceramic or a non-metallic knife blade. Um, Kevlar cordage. A lighter matches. Kind of like your, like, escape and evasion type stuff um, that maybe you want to EDC but you don't want it jingling around with your other stuff in your pockets so you could just stick it in there but uh, <clears throat> like I said Vertex Phantom Featherlight Pants awesome amazing they are made out of a I want to say 5.75 ounce poly cotton 50-50 blend uh, they're great they're not full cotton, they're not full polyester, and they're lightweight. Lightweight does not mean they're not durable, it just means that they don't weigh as much. It's a thinner fabric, it's a tighter woven fabric, on and on and on and on. Uh, personally, I like the lighter fabric. A few other nice features about them, 
is they have, I forget what they call it, but uh, they have these different uh, things in the knees so they your knees bend easier. If you can see that and it, it doesn't bunch up. It also has a gusted crotch. If you don't know what that is, go somewhere else, figure that out. It helps when you have to like bend down to fix something, do whatever you gotta do. Um, but like I said, one last thing I wanna mention is sizing. Now, if you read some of the reviews on these pants, the people must just be idiots. Why do I say that? In 95, in literally every single pant that I own and that I've worn in the past, I wear a size 34 by 34, which means a 34 inch waist and a 34 inch inseam. These pants are a 34-34 and they fit perfect. I also got a second pair that are 36-34 and they also fit perfect. The legs and the waist are just a little bit roomier, but um, in a good way. So again, maybe I just got a perfect pair and the other people were just getting these bad pair, but the sizing literally runs perfect, okay? If you wear your jeans 34, 34, 32, 32, 32, 34, 34, 32, whatever the case may be, just buy that size. If you want to carry inside the waistband or you uh, like to tuck your shirts in, all that other crap, uh, don't ask me that advice. Just get the same size you know, pants as the jeans you wear every day when you can still carry every day, right? So that's all I, that's all I got to say about these pants. Excellent quality, uh, excellent craftsmanship, and uh, check out one of my upcoming videos um, telling you and explaining to you the place I bought these. I got an excellent deal on them, so I stocked up. I bought about five pairs of them. Uh, so if you like this channel, uh, if you like our content, make sure to like, share, subscribe, um, and until next time, we'll see you out there.